nagkakaroon ng behavior mismo yung isang brand. Ganon. Ganon namin siya ginagawa. So, let me, so much for the introduction and let's dig dive dito sa slides na ginawa natin. Yan. Yan. Can you see my screen now? Okay na? Ox na to? Okay. Sige. By the way, I want to introduce with you yan, yung mga ano ko, how to be a highly, highly paid digital branding specialist even if you don't have a background in graphic design, uh, website developer or development, website landing page design, social media marketing or management, or basically a, a background about Illustrator, Photoshop, and design, or even Canva. So I myself, I don't, I'm not really that type of person who is into design. Di talaga. Kaya nga nag-copywriting ako eh. Kasi I would rather write than do the the design thingy. Yan, yan yung naging motivation ko. Now, uh, I will be talking about the difference between digital branding and digital marketing. Uh, I, wala munang kukontra sa akin na, na, uy Walter, wala naman digital branding na tinatawag. Pauso ka. Totoo, wala naman talaga. Ang uso is digital marketing. When someone said, I want to hire a digital marketing. Kasama lagi sa space yung branding. Now, was this the first time you hear the word digital branding? Can you please type digital if it is? If hindi naman, uh, type... Wala. <laughs> type branding if first time yun narinig yung digital branding. Type marketing if alam yun na siya. Okay, so digital branding probably some of you nagsabi na first time. Sinabi nyo na digital branding already exists like for sabi ni KB, sabi ni KJ. Ayan. So alam na nung iba na digital branding. Now, what is digital branding for you? Sama nagsabi na like KB, what's digital branding for you? Any idea kasi hindi na pala siya bago din sa'yo? Ayan. Si Gerald, I've seen this na. O, sa mga nakita na, oo, huwag na natin anuhin. <laughs> huwag kayong mag-spoil. But I'll, yeah, it's a different discussion since I'll be focusing my uh, attention sa copy, copywriting para relate pa rin tayo. Anyway, so, yeah, may mga sinabi dito, marketing, branding, focuses on brand building. Okay, sige. By the way, as mentioned, ayan. By the way, si, si Coach uh, Darwin is my co-mentor in SFE, SFE Six Figure Eco Mentorship Program. He talks and coach students with regards to copywriting. I myself uh, focused on branding side. So, ito personality ko, medyo outlaw, medyo rebelde din. I don't usually conform sa norms. Ayan. May mga... Iba-iba akong ginagawa. <laughs> yeah, so brand archetypal is one of the tools that we use to identify the characteristics and behavior of a certain brand. So that's my archetypal mix. INTP, that's my personal, ano. So introverted ako kung, oo, kung di nyo pa alam. So meron din akong pagod moment sa crowd. Madalas. Yeah. And prior being a I was a uh, banker. Sa bank ako nagtatrabaho noon, is a investment bank. It's a multinational investment bank. And I quit my corporate job to focus on insurance. And when I was an insurance agent, I also trained uh, sales professionals, these people, how to do social media marketing and basically personal branding to position their service not somehow yung tabu na usapan, tinutuluan ko sila kung paano makapag-close ng deal using social media, out, outsmarting algorithm, and building relationship online. But in that portion, I really don't know what the concept of branding is all about. Because I know that when you're in the sales, you want numbers, you want results. What we don't know that time, three years after 
four years, four years ago, three years ago, we just want to sell. So, intense talaga yung marketing na tinuturo. Intense. Kaya, sa bawat coaching, bawat training, ang mandate din sa amin is to teach how to close sale without understanding that there is a customer journey that every every customer or very every social media users na consider so hindi siya bato ng bato na benta ng benta lalo na trust based ano siya trust based service or products di ba now when i get out of the ano the, the training and sa, sa insurance nag freelance ako i started my career as a brand hindi pala so nag-aral ako ng SMM kasi yun naman din ang pinagmulan ko social media marketing why not do it do it like you know maging ano maging SMM na din kasi ginagawa ko na siya sa personal brand ko and dun nung SMM parang di ko rin feel parang kulang yung skill so i discovered copywriting na daanan ko na budol ako oo <laughs> the job <lang. laughs> <laughs> Nag-enroll ako sa Top Dog Copywriting Alpha, Copywriter Alpha, uh, batch 2 ako. So that time, ano, alam nyo ba, halos last money ko na yung 6,000 noon. Kasi ang dami kong, wala akong komisyon na natatanggap. Kasi nga, yung clients ko, mga civil engineers. So during pandemic 2020, wala din silang pambayad kasi walang site visit most of them kasi nasa site ang ang ano ang tawag doon the designation so walang site visit walang operations walang mag wala silang imamando ng mga contractors then wala silang sahod so since wala silang sahod they cannot take premiums the insurance premiums Pag walang bayad, walang silang sahod, walang akong commission. At that time, that was the only source of income that I have. So, I need to maneuver my moves and get some, alam mo yun, get out of that scheme kasi ang hirap na din magbenta. So, napunta ako sa freelancing. And then, th- that time... Aral ako ng copywriting, baka, baka maging mat, mas matino yung online selling process ko. Only to find out why not become a copywriter instead of pursuing insurance. <laughs> Kasi nakikita ko yung mga students sa top dog winning right and left. So ako FOMO, sabi ko hala, closing $10,000 deals for a sales page for an email copy, FB ads, copy. Eh ako, kaya ko din naman magsulat. Kasi I, I believe that I learned the same framework that they're applying on their freelancing business. So I thought, why not try ko i-offer? But before, uh, mamaya ipakita ko kung ano yung offer na yun, ano nangyari. But before I, anything else, if you stay, if you stay at the end of this webinar, I'll be giving you the eight content pillars that you can use. Seven pala. Seven content pillars that you can use in order for your social media presence to be more ano, visible to your customers, to your clients. And might as well consider having these content pillars in your business. Lalo na in, digital, in this digital age. Diba? So, kala ko may, may mapro life pag next day. <laughs> Uh, ayon. So, at the end of this webinar, I'll be giving you that lead magnet of mine that I used when I was a content and copywriter that helped me as well score clients as a copywriter. So, sa social media lang ako nagbebenta noon kung ano yung ginagawa ko. Ito lang, ito lang din yung sinusulat ko. So, doon nagre-revolve yung content ko in social media to attract clients. So, can you please comment eight con- uh, content pillars if you want that freebie. Okay ba? You, are you going to stay? Ayan, eight content pillars now. Okay, sige. Yung, bigay ko yung surprise at the end. Now, 
let me dig dive the defini- definition of terms mo na, branding and marketing. Now, I'll be asking you, <laughs> sa mga nanonood na, I want to define, I want you to define what is brand. Kahit hula lang, I just want to know uh, ano yung pulso nyo pagdating sa definition ng brand. How would you define brand? soul of oh, grabe, grabe naman yung soul of your business brand is identifier sabi ni uni the name ah. brand is an image brand is what you are joshua said foundation of your business it's how you know about the company identity of the business okay identity okay what is brand okay identity that sabi ni kj Now, no matter how you define brand, let me define let me define or let me describe a particular brand or company. Tapos hulaan niyo kung ano yung dine-describe ko na company. Okay ba 'yon? Hulaan niyo ha kung anong kampanya. Last time, last time, uh, meron silang post about ano po yung papremyo? Gawin mo papremyo agad. <laughs> uh, kausapin niyo yung father ng top dog. Baka may papremyo. <laughs> anyway. So, magdescribe ako ng isang brand. Tapos sulaan niyo kung anong company. Ano yung... I will just pick some micro stories online. Okay? Sige. Meron... Uh, uh, nag-revolve... Meron siyang avatar na pinost noon. Si Ang. Si Ang. Tapos, feeling ng mga tao, siya yung naging, uh, siya yung naging, tawag dito, parang ambassador ng company na to. Tapos, yun nga, si Ang, uh, uh, the legends of, ano, the avatar, kung familiar ka, yung kalbo. Tapos, uh, parang ginawa nilang pagkaka, pag, ano tawan? Tawag doon? Parang pinagka, nag sobrang creative nila tapos nilagyan nila ng asul yung ano yung iba may asul yung sa ulo niya yung may arrow tapos ah uh, kinonote nila yung name na ang sa brand name nila yon tapos pinost nila yon sa social media nag-viral siya tapos tawang-tawa yung mga tao sa ginawa nilang yon anong company yon nahulaan niyo ba Mang inasal. From the word itself, si Ang. Tapos kulay blue yung ano, yung araw niya dito. It's a local company. Huwag kayo mag-isip ng, ano, ng, ng international. It's a local company. Hindi nyo maalala. Or yan, nasagot na siya. So, tulog kasi si Ara na nag-viral yun. Yeah, it's Ang Kas. Okay, tama. Second story. Let me give you another story. Isang company food chain na isang staff nagkamali ng, ng pagbigay ng order tapos nagkaroon ng issue about wala pa guys gabi naman wala pa <laughs> wala yung <laughs> kailangan <Okay, okay, sige. laughs> oh, ko yun to okay okay sige o yun na yun yung hindi ko itutuloy o o tawel di ba sige na nga o oh, another another company uh Nag-viral to sa Santa Rosa. Nag-viral sila. Tapos, ang ginawa kasi, um, yung may nag-break na vlogger, dalawa. Nag-break yung vlogger. Tapos, uh, nakisabay sila sa uso about change oil. Nag-viral siya, tapos, naging free yung pagas. And then, madami ang... Nag-viral din yung post na yon online. And then... <laughs> So, meron silang term na hindi kaaya-aya about uh, medyo bastos and then pero since it's a moment marketing effort then yeah, magpapa-change oil ka daw libre lang sa portion na to. Okay, so Toyota. So, those are behaviors, right? Those are stories. Those are things that you cannot even see a logo or design but it's a behavior of a brand 
Why am I telling you this? Because brand is not about the product. It's not about the company. It's not even the identity or the logo. And if you've read the book by Martin Humer, The Brand Gap, he defined brand as the reputation. Ibig sabihin, what are the things, what are the stories, what are the, the, the reputations or the insights or perceptions that people talk about your brand even if you're not there? Ano ang comment nila about sa Jollibee? Ano ang comment ng tao about ang gas? Ano ang perception and nafe-feel ng mga tao when they hear the word or when they interact with the brand? Because overall, the collective meaning, the collective perception and observations of people, that's your brand. So when KB said, that's the in- in- intangible identifier, that's correct. We cannot somehow touch the brand. Okay? So, pagdating naman sa branding, it is the process on how to cultivate that reputation. So, ibig sabihin, proseso ang branding. Magkaiba ang pag-term ng brand sa branding. Now, how are you going to uh, to align your perception as a brand owner to your customer so that there to, so that you can eliminate confusion as a brand owner and you as a freelancer who offers different products or the different services rather you should know what kind of offer and what kind of help ang pwede mong ibigay sa prospects mo and you should be top of their minds right that's your dream kasi kung hindi eh walang kliyente kasi kung hindi low bold client kasi di ka naman niya kilala hindi ka katiwatiwala bago ka at bago ka sa pandinig niya but if you have a solid reputation built definitely willing ang tao magbayad sa iyo you have the trust you have the expertise you are tough of mind you are recommendable and you are talk of the town as long as you have a good reputation position in different digital platforms, you're good to go. And how are you going to do that? That's the process. Ang tawag doon, branding. So far, so good. Type branding, if naintindihan. Wala akong menention na logo. Wala akong na-mention na design. Pero I'm talking about branding process. Okay, naintindihan naman. Okay. Good. Now, what is digital brand? Some of you already know what's digital brand. So, ano yung, pro- ano yung proce- process? So, pag may ING ang isang word, di ba nagiging process siya? So, digital branding. Digital branding is the management of the meaning of the brand through the use of digital platforms. So, ibig sabihin, we are, uh, we are cultivating the culture the behavior of a certain brand digitally. Ibig sabihin online. So ano ba yung makikita nila online? Kasi most of the time, uso ngayon e-commerce. Sino mga nagbe-business dito? E-com, nagbebenta online. Even if you, you as a freelancer, you're, uh, you're doing digital, pro, uh, digital service, kasi ano naman yan, di ba? Yung outsource or work from home ka, you deliver the service to your clients online sa ibang bansa. So digital. Diba? Now, if you are a brand, uh, brand specialist, you need to know how are you going to manage the, a positive and long-lasting reputation so that there will be a negative impact to your business growth. And, event- and when I say business growth, it could be sales, right? It could be people, hiring, process. Kasi kung pangit, ang nababasa ng mga tao about you, about your brand, bakit ka nila i-hire? Bakit ka nila, bakit ka nila pagkakatiwalaan? And for all we know, for all we know, sino dito, sino dito nagbabiyahe sa EDSA o nagko-commute papuntang office? 
Tapos nakakakita ng billboard. Sino? Can you please type it kung tumitingin pa kayo sa billboard? Sa labas pa nagko-commute? Or you are a type 9 wherein sa cellphone kayo nakatingin? So type 9 kung sa cellphone kayo nakatingin while commuting or type 8 kung tinitingin nyo lahat ng billboard sa labas. <laughs> diba? So... Um, exception to the rule yung mga nagda-drive. Oh, sorry. Di ko na ano, di ko na uh, na ano yun. But, the thing is, since, since th there, there is a influence of digital era to different uh, behavior of the market, businesses or even big brands capitalize and maximize the effort of these digital platforms to be the leader on its industry. Diba? So, kung sabi nga natin, ano-ano ba yung mga digital platforms na yan, may social media, website, mobile apps, may umuuso na na podcast, kung nagbebenta ka, Lazada or Shopee. Pag digital, sabi natin, ito yung mga hindi natin, hindi online lang natin nakikita, nagagamit. Okay? So, ito, ito yun, mga digital platforms natin. Now, why digital branding is important and not digital marketing? Well, importante naman sila parehas. But, you know, I could be biased that if, you, if I want to scale my business, I would rather go for branding first rather than marketing. You could argue with me, yes, pero both are important. Both, are, both can generate sales. Both have the capability for growth, uh, can give growth to, 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 to our business. But kung ako din ang tatanungin, gusto ko gawin ang foundation before numbers. Okay? So, i-define natin yung marketing. Marketing for you, pag sinabi ng market, it's where the buyer and seller meet, di ba? Yun yung definition ng market. Now, marketing is a process or tools or basically the how, kung paano ma mag-settle or mag-take place yung meeting of buyers and sellers. Diba? And sometimes, marketing and advertising, pinaghiwalay pa yan. Pinaghiwalay pa ang marketing, advertising, public relations. Nagkaiba pa yun. Pero never in my entire career, Never in my entire career witness a company focus on branding. Ginagawa nila, ginagawa nila marketing department kasama ka sa umbrella branding. Totoo, tama din naman 'yon. Pero ang the sad truth about about marketing right now is yung mga tao ang hilig mag ginagatasan yung mga tao. Pag sinabi kong ginagatasan, they don't care as long as they get numbers. They can always drop their values as long as they get numbers. They will always forget the integrity as long as they get sales. And it's not, it's not a, hindi naman din mali kung magsustart ka ng business just to make profit. That's the, that's, part of the survival instinct of people, I, I couldn't blame them. Diba? Ganyan tayo eh. Ang nangyayari lang, sometimes we, we want to get sales, pero hindi na tayo nakakakuha ng sales kasi nga, puro tayo benta-benta. We forget to build relationship with these people. Lalo na hindi tayo, stranger tayo sa mga digital users na to. Okay? Now, and if we're going to define the main goal of marketing talaga, what? Any guess? Meron bang makakahula? What's the main goal of marketing? Oh, sorry. Oh, sabi ni KD Sales. Conversion, which eventually uh, coined or can be uh, associated with sales. So that's the goal of marketing. But, but the bottom line here, and what I'm trying to say is, we forget, we forget 
to make these people, once we acquire them as a new customer, to be a loyalist. And that, my friend, is the process of branding. We need to get these new customers, bumili na sila, to stay. To stay on our side. Hindi tayo iiwan. Sino dito yung pagod na pagod, benta na benta, acquire na acquire ng bagong customer? Sino dito? Taas ang kamay. <laughs> Di ba nakakapagod? Puro, puro ka na lang bagong customer. I mean, hindi ba pwedeng magkaroon ng retainer? Hindi ba pwedeng magkaroon ng referrals? Kasi the problem with us, business owners, the problem with business owners at the same time is that they think that in order for people to grow their business is to acquire customers. They forget they forget customer retention. But in order to get customer retention, you have to have a solid branding. Because branding is to cultivate a certain reputation engraved to the heart and soul of our customers. And once you have that one, it's easier for you to re- to what? Makabenta uli sa kanya. Imagine mo yon. you have a thousand customers, 50% of them, 500, bumibili sila buwan-buwan. Bumabalik sa'yo buwan-buwan. Di ba masaya? Then acquire ka na lang acquire, retain, acquire, retain, acquire, retain, acquire, retain. That's why branding and marketing, I call them blood twins. Hindi dapat sila separated. But in the recent uh, years na nangyari ito for the past five years and even up to, up, up to now, people focus only on marketing. Hindi nila alam na mas importante ang mag-nurture. Hindi ko na, I, I mean, I, I, I don't want to be ano, no, quoted. Hindi nila alam na importante rin ang mag-nurture. Na mag-nurture and mag-build ng relationship with your customers. Lalong-lalo na pag cold leads siya. And the main difference between branding and marketing is basically the intention. What's your intention? What's your intention? Are you going to generate sales? Do the marketing. Are you going to make your customers be a loyal followers and retain and get referrals, then you do the intense branding. So both are important for business growth. No more, no less. Baka mamay makuta ko na, ay, importante daw yung branding, hindi daw yung marketing. That is why, that is why recently, when I created a brand, a solid branding framework sa isang client, Ang naging problem niya ngayon is execution. Paano ma-execute yung culture na binibuild ko sa brand tapos sa marketing niya. That's why na-hire ako ulit for marketing. So we closed that client for, for 351,000 for branding alone. Then we closed another 275,000 for email, email copywriting, Lazada, ads for a 30-day period. So... It's a win for us kasi almost half a million proposal siya. So because of that, in, it's clear for our client, it's clear sa amin na ang intention namin is to help acquire new customers and have a customer retention. And that cost the client more than half a million. At ako pa rin yung nakuha. Ang daming nagbibid pero ganun yung nangyari. And that's the reason why we want to start with branding. Tapos, upsell ko ang marketing. Kasi at the end of the day, guys, email copywriter pa rin ako. <laughs> Marunong pa rin ako magsulat, di ba? So, ganun lang yun. Kaya, kaya framework ko na ngayon. Una muna branding, phase one. Saka marketing, phase two. Now, naintindihan nyo ba? Type eight, the difference between branding and marketing. Type eight. Sige nga. Type 8. Si Josh Diaz. Hello, Josh. Ito ka uli. Samantha, Ara, Divine, Yan. Naintindihan. Sige. At dahil naintindihan nyo, meron akong quiz. Oo, may pa-quiz tayo. Para naman mag ang utak natin kasi guys, alas 5 nakaka-adok, di ba? Siesta. <laughs> Tapos, ano, uh, stay lang tayo sa bahay kasi pumutok yung ano taal. Yan, baka, stay safe, by the way. Ayan, so type 8, 
Ni sa Gerald, Marian, Mitch, at Ashwell. Ash, Mitch, Ashwell tuloy. <laughs> Ch- Chate or Chate? Ha? How should I pronounce your name? Sorry. At Kate. Kate. Nice. Ganda. So, ready sa quiz? Okay, sige. Ito yung mechanics. Ang gagawin nyo, itatype nyo lang branding kung ang activity na to ay branding. Marketing kung ang activity na to ay marketing. Okay? Clear? Clear ha? Sabi nyo yan. Clear. Sama na sa live, clear din na. Sige, flash ko. Again, just type branding. Kung branding to, yung ipa-flash ko na activity. Then marketing kung tingin nyo marketing. Kasi na-gets yun na yung difference eh. Again, intention. Ano yung intention? To generate sales, marketing. To build authority, reputation, branding. Okay? Sige. Posting content to my FB page. or to your client's Facebook page, what am I doing? Or am I doing branding or marketing? Some of you said marketing, sabi ni Antoinette. Sabi ni Shana, marketing. Sabi ni Divine, marketing. Sylvia's letter B. Ano po yung letter B? Branding, I assume, no? So, iba yung branding. So, halo-halo. Okay. Now, since hindi pa pala clear, let me tell you this. What's the intention of this content? So you need to ask yourself, what's the intention? Is it to do to create transactions, to create sales, to create awareness, to build authority, to build online presence? Ano yung intention mo? Are you going to generate sales with this content? Is that your intention to promote your products? Maybe not. Maybe yes. That's why the answer is both. It doesn't mean that you're doing social media content. You're doing marketing. Gets ba? Why? Because that content, hindi naman ako mag- magbebenda or add to cart dyan. Magpo-post lang ako dyan, for example, background story ng kumpanya ko. Hindi ako magbebenta. So ano yun? ba? Diba? And at the, at the end of the day, branding is a marketing practice. It's just that hindi ka magbebenta agad-agad. So this is both. Next, you is using SEO and keywords to drive traffic to my website. What am I doing? Branding or marketing? Sabi ni Ara, marketing. Sabi naman ni KB, branding. Pag may naka-perfect na to, oo, bigyan natin ng ano, <laughs> around the applause. Okay, marketing. Sabi ni Yan, Kate, marketing daw. Okay, tama. Marketing. Why? What's the purpose and the intention of SEO? Traffic. What's the purpose of traffic? Check out. Tama. Check out, di ba? Anong result ng check out? Di ba number sales? So, marketing, CSEO. Sending emails to my subscribers. Anong ginagawa ko? Am I doing the marketing or am I doing the branding? Sabi ni Gerald, marketing. Kasi magsisend ka ng emails, di ba? Marketing. Samantha said, marketing. Si Red said, marketing. Shana, with a question mark, both. Si Chari, marketing and branding, both daw, sabi ni Antoinette, with a question mark again. Ara said both. Hazel said both. Okay, yeah. Kasi, again, it depends what kind of email are you sending. Are you sending a uh, brand awareness only or... you know, or building relationship. Minsan nga, minsan nga, nakakatanggap ba kayo ng email? Nangangamusta yung isang brand? Naka, at, diba, at binabate ka ng pa-birthday, ganyan. Hindi, nakatanggap na ba kayo ng email na kinakamusta ka? Anong feeling, di ba? Hindi ka naman binebentahan, kinakamusta ka eh. Di ba? You're, you're, that, that, that email copywriter, the intention of that copywriter is to build relationship to your subscribers. Not, not, not necessarily to sales agad-agad. But if there's a link or click or add to cart or somewhere, so marketing siya. So it's a, it's a ano, uh, activities for both. Okay? 
Sana may natutunan na kayo. <laughs> Writing books for my consulting business to get more leads and build authority. What am I doing? Sige, let me just grab a drink. Medyo na, uh, ano ko, namamalat. I'll wait for your answers. And so what's the purpose of writing a book? What's the purpose of writing a book? Diba, nasa consulting space ka. Para saan yung librong yun? Makabenta, tsaka makabuild ng ano? Authority, di ba? So you're doing what? Tingnan ko nga ang sagot nyo. Ah, sige. May, may, marami pang nalilito, no? But yeah, you're doing both. Okay. Uh, kasi pag may libro, somehow the perception in grief to the soul and mind of our customers is that you're an expert. Diba? Yun, yung, yun yung dating nung libro. Eh. May libro ka na sa sulat. Eh. So you're doing both marketing and branding. How about this one? Sharing your brand story to your audience. Ano ginagawa mo? <clears throat> Branding. Okay. Yan. So, someone could argue that it could be a marketing campaign, lalo na pag may call to action sa dulo. Napakwento ka lang, tapos may add to cart dyan, or may sign up page, or something else. But but in 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 this context, you just share a story you're doing branding. Okay? With a, with an exclamation point from Samantha. Branding. Oo, with giggle. <laughs> Yun. So, I hope you understood now what's the main point and difference of branding and why is it important for your business or for your client na meron silang solid branding foundation. And Again, this one, don't forget that branding is a marketing practice because it will also drive sales. Na-mention na- na- ko kanina, pag malakas yung retention, customer retention, and customer loyalty, babalik-balikan ka ng customers mo. Now, in the digital age, ngayon, pag sinabi ko ang digital age, nyo, lahat na yun nga, automated, online, everything can be found online and can be done with just a click. And with the... Sino, na, sino nakarating sa Japan? Oo. Uy. Di ba ang ganda sa Japan? Daming billboards. Daming... Lalo sa Tokyo. Sa heart of Tokyo. Sobrang daming... Ano, sa Akihabara. Ganyan. Sa Asakusa. Di ba? By the way, ang picture sa Osaka. But you know what? Ang daming billboards pa rin ang nagsasalabasan to build that, hey, hey, Mr. Customer, I still exist. But combine that with the power of digital branding and marketing, then definitely, definitely, it will give you more and more and more sales and more and more and more growth, di ba? So dapat combination na siya. But I, I've also seen a lot of business owners don't have an offline stores. They just do it everything online. May mga ganon din. So, but still, if it's prof- profitable for them, then at the, uh, uh, sa bahay lang nila gawin yung negosyo, why not, di ba? Wala na silang physical stores. They just want to place their their products in different in Amazon, for example, or in in Lazada or Shopee. So definitely, as definitely, kailangan nila ng matinding branding kung ganon yung space na gusto nila or place na gusto nilang uh, puntahan. 
And we have already a lot of, uh, tawag dito, yung alternative before yung malala yung television advertisement cost. Ngayon, nasa YouTube na, di ba? Ang um, iba, nasa, nasa TikTok. So, the world of advertisement has already gone from a traditional television or radio advertisement to uh, YouTube, to podcast, to Facebook, Instagram, Pinterest, and Google Ads, and different, different platforms. Because they believe that the power of the digital age can transform their business into something great. And you as well, lalo na tayo, mga lancer, gusto natin, nakikita din tayo ng clients natin or prospects natin sa LinkedIn. Now, what kind of reputation that you want your customer, your prospects, na, ma, na i, I mean, maintindihan nila about you? So you need a brand specialist, a brand expert para ma para ma position yung 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 brand mo ng maayos. And the current setup, number one, reality check lang tayo is yung moment marketing. Are you familiar with moment marketing? Can you please type moment moment oh, moment kong moment. Yeah, sige. Mo- <laughs> This is the moment. Oo. Isa lang ang nakakaintindi. How about the others? No idea, type 1. Okay. O, oh, sige, sige. <clears throat> Kala ko na intindihan na to. Sige, let me explain what's moment marketing. Moment marketing is ganito yan. Pag may uso online, sasabayan ng ibang brands. Ayun lang yan. <laughs> Pag may uso, sasabayan. Kaya nga moment eh. Anong moment yung... Ano yung uso ngayon sasabayan ko? Like the change oil, the 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 towel incident with 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 the fast food chain, di ba? The ano yung moment marketing ang ginagawa yung sa BTS since sikat ang BTS, why my my twel, my as well uh, invite them to be an endorser, create a product for this for this image, di ba? So moment marketing ang tawag doon, yung change oil Diba? Sabay sa uso ng marketing. And that's what I'm telling you earlier that even if it drops the values and it doesn't adhere to the brand values, the brand culture, definitely just for being sikat and vanity metrics, they want to go with that, with that path. They want to go with that path. And one of the best examples that I've encountered myself is this content. Like what I've mentioned, the free change oil. Uh, mga Apple if fail, ganun daw. Okay, so, ang nangyari dito is that, uh, huwag nyo lang ko isumbong, oo, pra, <laughs> na-share ko sa inyo. But what happened is, I called out this brand, this company, that it doesn't adhere to their philosophy of five respects. Respects for others, respect for the environment, and respect as for individuals yan and sa profession so may mga five respects sila na values and definitely it doesn't give me professionalism when i read the copy kasi medyo off talaga for me di ba para para ang pangit pa kay gan from from this big brand tapos ganun yung content niya parang for me it's uh, parang low ball i mean parang below the belt campaign for me. So, <clears throat> it doesn't align to their values. It doesn't align to the uh, to their mother company as well. Diba? Hindi naman ganun talaga ang turo sa kanila. So, when I called them out, the, the, the sales manager, the branch manager, actually, this is the biggest branch in the Philippines. Itong branch na to, sa pagkakaalam ko. Diba? Now, They reach out, sabi, kailangan daw nila ng ano, content writer, content manager sa social media nila. Sabi ko, hindi rin natuloy yung project kasi feeling ko hindi, hindi uh, number one, ayoko makipagtrabaho sa kanila kasi they allow that. Baka mamaya, masama pa ako sa kultura na ganun, baka ganun sila. Hindi alay yung values namin, so... Hindi rin ako nag-reply. Hindi na ako nakipag-usap after. Kasi sabi ko, mag-usap na lang tayo online. Then, hindi rin naman sila nag-usap. And, hula ko din dito. 
ano, assumption ko lang is na naparesign din yung gumawa. Said, kasi ang dami nag-call out and it, the campaign has backfired kasi kung mapapansin nyo or kung hindi napansin, para lang din siya sa bagong bili na kotse. Hindi siya available for everyone. That's what I I've read here in the thread. Yun. So, was it successful in terms of insights sa Facebook? Madaming reach, madaming reaction? Yes. But was it successful in terms of branding? Definitely no. No? Kasi ngayon, yung mga, mga pages, yung mga kumpanya, eyeing for insights, mga likes, they think that they when they get a lot of likes or reactions, sikat sila, dadami pera nila. <laughs> Di ba? But in fact, because of wrong usage of that moment marketing, it backfires to them. It's a double-edged campaign, actually. And even if, agree kay Sylvia, even if it's bad publicity, they can even lose customers. Di ba? And it's kind of sad na even if below the belt yung mga behavior ng mga brands na to, may mga tao pa rin na tilatangkilik. Pero some, of course, may na may na-offend. So it's up to you kung anong stand mo. Kung meron kang, ang branding naman, pag may gusto kang stand, panindigan mo na. Nandyan ka na eh. Ganun naman yun eh. Kung kaya mo panindigan, why not? Kaya mo maging patawa or memeable sa paningin ng tao, so be it. But if you have a guidelines that engrave to the soul and heart of your audience, to your Bible, brand Bible, then definitely don't do it. Kung wala, edi dapat meron na. Scalability ng pinag-uusapan eh. Reality check number th- two. Instagram daw is branding. Alam mo, nung when I share this content before, ang daming natawa, ang daming nag-react. Kasi ang dami din nagsasabi na when you get, when you have a, a proper visuals for your Instagram feed, definitely you're doing branding. Branding is more than the aesthetic of your, of your uh, social media campaigns. Branding is cultural. Branding is behavioral. Well, at least for me. That's how I defined it. That's why even if I'm not a brand, I mean a graphic artist, I don't have background with fine arts or whatsoever, I can do a branding gig with, with strategy alone. So ganun yung take ko sa, sa branding. <clears throat> And just like this one, yan. Continuous mo lang yung posting, branding na daw yun. We're in fucking day. Now, website means digital marketing naman. Pag sinabi mo digital marketing, digital, ano bang i- ibig sabihin ng digital? Iba, maka, maka-advance. Digital. So, it doesn't mean that you do the digital marketing, you're doing website. And it doesn't mean that you're doing branding, you're doing landing page and website design. Hindi rin ganon. I also encountered this one na ang tinuturo daw ng, ng branding is paano mag-website. Which sabi ko, ha? <laughs> ha? In fact, ang ginagawa namin, workshop. Paano mag-behave ang personnel? Paano mag-behave ang leadership? Paano mag-behave ang employees? Paano mag-behave ang customers ng brand? At paano mag-behave ang brand as a whole? Culture ang binibuild natin sa branding. Hindi website. Website is a platform wherein you can express that kind of culture. So, real, reality check number three lang tayo. <clears throat> And there could be a lot of website then. Web, Facebook.com is a website. Web page. Yung landing page is a website. You can create a lot of different types of website. Sales page. Blog page, homepage, about us page, di ba? So, hindi lang siya pang marketing. May touch of mar- of branding. Naka- sino dito sa inyo nakakita na ng website na may mga mission and vision? May, na- may nakabasa na ba? Type 8 if you did. <clears throat> Merong nakabasa, corporate social responsibility. May nakabasa na about us. Diba? 
or our philosophy, our values. Bisitahan nyo Nike, Adidas, puntahan nyo sila. They have that. They have that guiding principle. Ayan. Pwede po ano, pamute. <laughs> Wait lang bro, hanapin ko, sorry. Kakainom ko lang eh. Ayan, sige po. Eh, no, wala na. Yun. Sorry, sorry. <laughs> Continue tayo. The never-ending selling. Sino dito yung nakakita ng ano, puro benta, 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 benta. Benta ng benta. Sige nga, type 1. ba diba? ganun yung mga kliyente natin. Gusto kumita. At tayong marketer din, gusto lang din magbigay ng revenue line. Hmm. Aminin, gusto lagi ang proposal na sa revenue line. Sino bang ayaw? Kasi once madikit mo sa revenue line yung project mo, mas madaling mag-close kasi may ROI agad sa investment nila. Agree? <laughs> I'm not saying that having and having a good understanding with revenue line is a bad thing. I, I didn't say that. It's just that, it's just that, Hindi lang ganon ang proseso ng growth. Mas madali, yes. Mas madali mag-close ng deal pag makakabenta ka, makakabigay ka ng result. But what, what we're trying to see here is a long-term long -term effect. And if you want to get your hands dirty and be like Apple, be like Adidas or Nike, be like Herschel, be like Dove, then you need a solid branding, not just only sell, selling processes. Kung gusto mo na walang confusion about your message, about your personality, about the brand characteristics, then definitely you need a branding guidelines. And that, my friend, is the role of brand specialist. Again, culture. Kulto sa Tagalog. <laughs> Bumuo ka ng kulto online para madami kang followers, madaming tatalon with you. Pag marami kang followers, loyal followers, mas madali magbenta. And they can even promote you even if hindi mo sila pilitin or sabihan. Yun yung mas maganda. Because naniniwala sila sa stand mo, sa values mo, sa characteristics mo, sa relationship na nabuild nyo. Gawin nating tao yung brand na yan. And hindi lang tayo puro add to cart. Importante ang add to cart, pero it's a mixture of process ng marketing and branding para magkaroon ka ng add to cart. Yun nga lang, it's sad kasi ang gusto ng mga tao agad, mga business owners is madali ang resulta. Kaya marketing ang pinupuntahan. I couldn't blame them naman. But if you want scalability at long-term effect, I would rather go sa branding. Yan. Where do we want to go as digital brand specialist? Yes, Walter, naintindihan ko na yung important, importance ng branding. Anong gagawin ko? Anong, anong what's, what's in store for me? So, Sa digital, magla-launch tayo ng brand and manage its reputation online. Yun yung goal natin. So, remember the, the towel incident and how, the, how this page responded to that issue is anchored to their behavior. Which this, is, this one is, or this one can be seen on their website. This is the, the guiding principle of the brand and how they responded to that issue is anchored to their words. Customer focus, speed with excellence, humility to listen and learn, spirit of family and fun, and integrity. Kung mababasa nyo to, maintain the trust and loyalty that our customers have given to us throughout the years. It's anchored to their guiding principles. Now, is it important to have branding? Let me know. <laughs> Kasi kung wala ka nito, paano, mo ka, manin, paano ka papaniwalaan ng mga tao na seryoso ka sa sinabi mo? At hindi lang ito nakasulat, sinasabuhay siya. So kung may guidelines na ibibigay yung branding expert sa brand mo, isasabuhay yun ng owner, 
sa sa buhay ng mga officials, leaderships, rank and file employees at sasama sa kulto yung customers mo. Kasi naniniwala sila sa paninindigan mo. And if you can think a brand right now, like for example, Nike, which which are, they are very vocal with Black Lives Matter. And even if you can see their feed, their, their behavior and marketing campaigns, all their customer avatars revolve around Negros. Diba? Sa, sa mga Blacks. That's how they, they uplift, uplift the lives of Blacks. And pinapanindigan talaga nila. And then someone would ask, eh, paano naman yung mga white? Baka hindi ko matarget. Definitely, that's a perfect time for you to say na branding is paninindigan kasi pinanindigan mo na ito yung customer avatar namin. Kung hindi kayo dito, edi wag. ba? Diba? So, kahit ganon yung campaign nila, they're, they're still existing right now. ba? Diba? Sikat pa rin siya. Bakit tayo? Bumibili pa rin tayo. So it's also important for a brand to have a clear understanding who their target market is and kung anong type of behavior ang gusto nilang itawid, iparating sa customers nila. Now, how to be a digital branding specialist? For beginners, gawa ka ng brand foundation, positioning, uh, story, yun nga, gawan mo ng guidelines for the culture, cultivation, and gawin mo, ipakita mo sa social media. Kasi digital tayo eh. Kaya nga nabuo namin yung process na brand kitting. Pinagsama namin yung branding tsaka marketing. Kaya brand kitting. So, ipakita namin yung brand kitting framework niya. So, usually, you create, create the foundation of the brand, you launch the product online, to optimize the social media pages you sell, either in website, Shopee, or Lazada. By the way, I'm talking local terms. Sa, baka mamaya hindi nyo masundan kasi may mga Lazada or ano, Shopee. You post your content either for selling or for nurturing. You send emails, again, for nurturing or selling. Engage with online customers. Engage. Pag sinabing engage, matindi to. Hindi lang engage na makikireact. You create conversation. And how are you going to create a conversation if you don't have the proper voice? Like an email copywriter or a copywriter as well, you have to understand the voice, the wordings, and how your client deliver a message to their customers for you to be a, a perfect and right ghostwriter for them. Tama. Pero kung wala namang guidelines siya, kung ano na lang isusulat natin, Again, we the the process here is to create a unique voice for your copywriting client because we want to have a solid recall that once they read that certain copy definitely it relates to this one person. Uy, ganyan talaga yan magsulat. Si customer X. Si customer A. Dapat ganito ako magsulat sa kanya. Kasi ganun yung ginagawa natin. But if you don't have that guidelines, if that company na pinatatabuhan mo walang guidelines, anong gagawin mo? E di magkagawa ka. Or magsusulat ka na lang out of thin air. Alam mo yung persuasion, yes. Pero you create confusion. And confusion kills conversion. Kasi mandilito sila eh. Lalo na pag hinahir ka for three months, tapos iba na naman yung i-hire. O kawawa naman yung brand owner, kawawa naman yung brand, paiba-iba ng writer, paiba-iba ng voice. Nalito na yung readers. Kasi confusion kills conversion. And that, my friend, in the process of branding, you need to have a solid and one story to tell. In the story, one voice, one message, one behavior, one culture, so that you, you cannot give a, a piece of confusion to your clients, or to your customers. Gets? <laughs> Medyo madugo. Gets ba? You need to engrave a certain story from the soul and the brain and a certain image to your customers. Walang confusion. Pag sinabi nilang may liwanag ang buhay, miral ko yun. 
pag sinabi laging walang internet conversion ay hindi mali mali maling ano maling reputation yun. <laughs> pag sinabi <laughs> pag sinabi nating ano uh, chicken joy or anong mauunang makukuha nila <clears throat> 'Di ba pag may nabasa ka yung content tapos parang ibang iba imagine niyo yung bisitahin niyo yung angkas bisitahin niyo yung page nila 'di ba puro patawa puro memes e paano pag nag meme si Chanel tsaka si Gucci anong feeling kaya noon at nagjo-joke si si Chanel si Louis Vuitton anong feeling kaya mararamdaman ng mga loyal customers nila 'di ba it will create what confusion once there there is a confusion it kills conversion pag stories with persuasion top dog yan. <laughs> diba Sylvia diba ang geologs pa king god imagine mo yun Chanel meme on on to <laughs> diba so you need to be very clear what kind of message behavior culture at siyempre, akma sa kausap mo to your audience. Ganon siya. So that's the process. Now, as your opportunity pag naano mo yung branding, uh, pwede ka maging coach. I already do this one. Pwede ka maging company trainer kasama with HR uh, to cultivate a employer, employer-employee branding. Ganon yung tawag. So pwede ka maging company trainer or com- company brand manager Freelance branding specialist, pwede ka din maging personal branding expert, magmamanage mo yung behavior ng brand ni Chinkitan, for example, si si Francis Kong, si Bo, si Brother Bo Sanchez, yung mga personal brands. Brand consultant, yung wala kang gagawing hardcore pero upo ka maging bigyan mo lang ng clarity yung mga ano mo, those and don'ts yung mga uh, customers mo or clients mo. Or you, you, probably you'll become a brand owner kasi alam mo ni. Alam mo na kung paano eh. So probably you want to be the freelance one. Sig- Siyempre, yung iba dito, maraming ano, freelance copywriter kayo. So probably doon kayo nag-stick. And this one is the process that we have. So brand kitting, pinagsama namin yung marketing. Madugo yung marketing positioning. We want to identify what kind of customer ang gusto namin i-champion, yung kausapin, ganun. We, we need to check the industry, ano nangyayari sa competition. And when we say brand promise, you never fail with your promise. You never fail. Apple promise what? Uniqueness, di ba? Uniqueness na iiba at simplicity. And they never fail with that. So once they get uh, get out of, imagine yon magkaroon ng Apple iPhone 13 Pro Max tapos Android OS. Tanggapin yon yon. Tatanggapin yon. Di ba? It kills what the brand promise of be different. Di ba? Kasi yun yung tagline nila, di ba? Gusto nila maiba lagi. Kaya nga tinatanggal nila yung earphone, yung charger. <laughs> Kasi yun yung norm. So, pag nagkaroon na ng, ano, nagkaroon ng ibang atake si Apple, it will create confusion. Once there's a confusion, it creates, it kills conversion. So, brand foundation, umpisaan mo ng name, gawa mo ng tagline, ano yung story, ano yung purpose niya, hindi lang benta-benta. Mission and vision as your compass your roadmap for growth and create a brand culture. Tapos experience, gawan mo siya ng tao, gawin mong tao yung brand mo kasi people want to talk to people, not with robots, not with machine. So kung online 'yan, pangit naman kung kung puro chatbot na lang yung kausap. 'Di ba? Mas maganda pa rin na may personal touch or you can make the chatbot more personal. And you can only do that if you have a, uh, an outline, proper outline for the messaging, right? Brand phrases, yan. Inoon mo yung mga phrases. Like sinabi ko kanina, uh, yung may liwanag ang buhay. Kahit wala akong sinabing logo, pinakitang logo, alam nyo kung anong brand yon. Brand tone and voice, you did the logo and the design. 
Ito pala ng portion na to, nag lang ako ng tagagawa. Pero ako pa rin nag-sketch. Oo. Sketch pa rin ako sa papel. Pinapagawa ko lang sa marunong mag-illustrator. Brand patterns and elements. Kayang-kaya sa Canva. Anyway, sa so core offer mo, ano yung features, advantages, and benefits. We do the pricing para masaya. Product mock-ups, product copy, and product styling. So dito sa product styling, sasabuhay lang natin yung, may, yung logo and design and elements nila sa styling at yung mock-ups. Tapos gawa natin ng copy. Yung offer nila. Offer 1, offer 2, offer 3. And then post, have a digital assets. Make your profile optimize. Make a content pillars. Anchor to your foundation. And anchor to your core offer. And of course, guided with your positioning. And hashtag strategy, keywords, and launch your website. This is the end-to-end process that made me that, paano ba to sabihin, coach? Ang <laughs> hirap mag... That helped me ano, get out of debt. Yun na lang. <laughs> and helped me as well na makalipat ng apartment kasi I, I was living in a small, stinky place before. <laughs> Ang init-init. And this was the first time ever that I lived in an air-conditioned room. So... Because of branding, I was able to create and control my finances, definitely my life. So I'm very thankful that I've discovered marketing more than, more than any other freelancing skills. And because of that, nagkaroon din ako ng clarity kung ano ba yung mas importante sa mga company. So you start with the first step. Brand muna. Yun. And ito yung lang, sample, para naman hindi ako nag, ano ba, nag-joke lang dito na, ah, existing ba yung framework na yan? So, si Adidas, they have the story here. And they, sabi ko yung content, di ba, naka-align. So, they have the end plastic waste. They have created a culture of being a health, helping environment as well. May corporate social responsibility din sila. And they have this kind, this purpose, statement, and story. Yeah, my mission. Our attitude, impossible is nothing. So they, the culture itself. So, ayan, foundation yan ng brand. Dito nagkakaroon ng roadmap ng behavior. And of course, market positioning mga customer avatar mo, hindi lang siya basta picture ang ilalagay mo sa website or sa feed. Kailangan, sino ba yung avatar? Naka-formal attire ba yan? Naka-sexy attire ba? Naka-hobad? Naka-suit and tie? So, depende sa market mo, kailangan clear din. Basta, pag, nag, pag vinisit nila or nakita nila, uy, di ba pag tinignan mo yung feed ng Nike, alam mo, Nike agad eh. So, ganun dapat yung ano natin when it comes to images. Align siya sa avatar natin. Industry check, unique value proposition, pwede mong ilagay sa hook mo. Tinatawag din headline sa sales page. Yan. Brand promise, kasama din yan. Halos magkaparehas. And differentiation strategy. So, dito ka nagkakaroon ng creativity. Paano mo i-differentiate yung, yung brand? as compared to others, as compared to their competitors. By the way, guys, as, are you still learning? Can you please type learning pag you want more? Tuloy pa ba natin to? Learning with exclamation point. <laughs> okay, sige. Again, with ex- exclamation point. <laughs> sige, sige. Tuloy pa daw. With red exclamation point. <laughs> Gusto ko yung may red. <laughs> So brand experience, uh, you want to... Ako kasi guys, I'm not a fan of graphic, highly graphic design feed. Hindi ako fan nun. Kaya pag ako, pag, may na, pag ipakita ko sa yung mga previous clients ko, ang feed nila lifestyle. Hindi yung kung anong color, ito pula, color nito, ito red. Hindi siya ganun. I discovered this style and I own that kind of style na in my branding process recently lang. So, ngayon pinapabago ko na. So, kaya fan ako ng Herschel na brand, Sandugo, 
Adidas, ay, Nike man lang maganda yung feed nun. So, more of experience, lifestyle, routine ng isang tao. So, ganun kasi ang branding. Idala mo ako sa mundo mo. Ganun siya. So, ano bang character? Anong ginagawa ng, ng customer avatar mo? Ano, ano ba yung buhay niya, kumbaga? So, ipakita mo yun in social media, in digital platforms, in your website. Kasi, that way, that way, since digital, mas maganda lang yung reach at makaka-relate talaga yung customers. Hindi lang with your copy, but of course with images. Copy, of course, dapat ganun din. So, kaya kailangan mo na, you have to own your own phrase. You have a certain type of tone and voice. Nandun yung logo and design mo for image recall and patterns and elements. And your core offer as well, you should offer, you should feature the benefits that uh, you should write a copy uh, explaining the benefits, giving the benefits or advantages rather than more of the features. Yan yung turo sa copywriting, di ba? And it helps, uh, that sabito helps remove dead skin, scale, skin cells caused by too much friction from garments and undergarments. So, uh, parang ipakita mo yung what's in it for them. And then again, with the tone and voice, kailangan align doon sa brand character. Product mock-ups, yan. product copy and styling. Copy, styling, colors. Yeah. <laughs> so, sinabuhay natin, excuse me, sinabuhay natin yung brand experience to your core offer. And digital assets, ano yan? Social media optimization, create a content pillars, hashtags and keywords, website launch, mock-ups, digital printing. Yan, gawin mo na siya ng brand collateral or marketing collateral. And as you can see, this is our format ng, ng branding framework namin. Pansin mo pang 65 page na siya. So, pag pinakita mo yun sa client at present mo, it's, an, it's a kind of an overwhelming job or overwhelming presentation, but it covers the, the behavior end-to-end of your brand. So from, from being a, uh, I mean, from being an intangible, per, intangible uh, write-ups or intangible perception na engraved natin sa, soul, sa mind and heart of our customers from digital platforms at napakita what behavior are we showing to them? What, who are we, kumbaga? So, Ganon yung process namin. May from the foundation, positioning, the branded experience, to your core offer, to digital assets and platforms. So ganon yung brand kitting process. And using this framework, we also close branding deals ranging from 150,000 to 350,000. And minimum ko lagi na offer is 150K for a branding, branding gig alone wala pa yung social media marketing. Kung may email ka, email pa or may copywriting pa, magkaiba pa siya na offer. Most of the time, like what we've experienced yesterday, we were able to close niya, yun nga, 275,000 marketing for 30 day. And we're also, uh, we also closed a, a, a gig last time, 230. Nagkaroon din kami ng gig na 149,000. So, sa isang gig lang, parang bayad na yung isang anim na buwan na renta namin at utility. So, okay na din kasi for two to three months, tapos mo na, kung na-master mo na siya, kaya mo na nga siya on a one-month basis eh, kung madami ka ding researchers. So, ganun yung naging life-changing sa amin. I, I don't want, and of course, when you are part of my circle, ito, I'm giving out clients. <laughs> Oo, ganun ako ka, ewan ko, parang wala. Gusto ko happy lahat ng mga kaibigan ko. So I'm giving out clients. Ayan, these are the people who I've worked with, which currently were, ayoko pala i-spoil, ayoko i-jinx, baka mga hindi matuloy. But me, this is Coach Hara, nag- nagkakaroon kami ng collaboration binigyan ko sila ng client na ano skincare to yung client owner meeting namin so uh, we started with 100,000 
And then we we'll, we'll marketing yon kasi gusto namin i-flash out lahat ng stocks niya kasi magre-rebrand siya. Then we will offer it uh, 300,000 for the rebranding. So una marketing tapos ngayon branding. So nabaliktad kasi flash out kasi yung items yung inuna namin. So we did, we did the organic marketing. And uh, some of uh, some of my friends I, g- I gave them a client for BCS para ma ma-try nila ko ano yung branding framework. By the way, this is part of my branding clinic we launched no March. So nag-invite ako mga tao na sinong gusto maging branding specialist, join kayo sa group ko, sa circle ko, gawa tayo GC, tuturuan ko kayo kung paano for free. All you have to do is to uh, cater all my clients and my leads. Binibigay ko sa kanilang kliyente, ginaguide ko na lang. And then pag na-close namin ng paid, nagpapabayad na lang ako ng 30%. Halimbawa, na-close namin yan ng, ng 300. So akin na lang yung 30%. Tapos the rest, hati-hati na sila. So, kasi hindi ko na din kaya at sayang kung tatanggihan ko yung clients. Eh, may mga hawak pa ako. At may mga retainers pa ako. Yan. And mga mga buhay na patotoo dyan, si Joshua. <laughs> Kasama ko siya yesterday sa isang 275K. Bibigyan ko siya ng copywriting gig kasi marketing yon So, sa kanya yung copy, product copy. So, instant ano din yun. Uh, money for him. And ganyan din siya na yan anong brand to and ito pa ang matindi since copywriter ang pinagmulan ko since copywriting alam na alam ko kung paano mag-attract ng customer without prospecting that's why these people this clients of mine na naka-NDA sila hindi ko alam kung bakit most of the time naka-NDA bawal mag-reveal Dal- dalawa lang ang kaya kong i-reveal na kliyente ayo yung nga, sila ang nagme-message sa akin. Close ko, tas ididc ko na lang. I also helped my AC sa isang community. Kung may, madalas ako yung tinatawag nila, ipaklose, ipaklose ka daw kay Walter. So nagiging closer din ako. Tas hingi na lang ako ng pampa. Pizza ganyan, pag na-close. So yun, naniniwala kasi ako na pag naging mabait ka sa ibang tao, actually kay Miss Fanny ko din to na tutunan, na yung pera kasi nauubos pero nare-replenish. At sabi sa turo sa akin ni Miss Fanny na ang kailangan mong i-build is integrity because when you have that integrity hindi yon nawawala sa iyo. Ikaw yung lalapitan ng mga tao and money will just flow in, flows in. So, nung binigyan ko ng kliyente itong mga to, alam niyo ba nagkaroon sila ng gig dalawa, ako ang tinap nila. So, I I scored another two clients. Hopefully, maklose yung isa seven figures. Hindi lang isang million. Hopefully, maklose namin. So, tinap nila ako. And then, dun ko na feel na parang pag may binigay ka talaga sa iba, alam mo, babalik sa'yo time, times 100 <laughs> ni Lord. So, sobrang thankful kasi na feel ko kasi nung pandemic na ano ba yan naiiyak ako may naalala ako. <laughs> Alam mo yung walang wala ka na. Walang wala ako. Like for example si Coach Harry na close namin at ito yung first mentee ko. Ayun, la naiiyak ako. <laughs> Nag-grow na sila. But present ko to na and daw naiiyak. <laughs> Wait lang. At dito kasi si Miss Fanny. Pag si Miss Fanny nandito, naiiyak ako. Kasi naaalala ko talaga nung ano, sobrang bait niya kasi tinuruan niya ako maging mabait at maging generous sa tao. So, huwag ka kasi mag-attend ng webinar ang Miss Fanny. Naiiyak ako pag nandyan kay. Kasi this woman has helped me in many ways. Sobra. Nung birthday ko, nung lahat, as in, as in, sobrang dami niyang help sa akin. Nung nag-insurance pa ako, hanggang up to now, nandito siya. And sabi niya sa akin, pay it forward. Kung ano yung tinutulong niya, gawin ko din sa iba. Hey, wait lang. 
<laughs> ano ba to, coach? Wait lang. So, ito din, uh, apat na freelancer na walang-wala na. Binigyan ko sila ng client kasi nawala ng trabaho yung iba. Tapos, hindi sila makapag... <coughs> I've been praying to create a, a community wherein people help one another. Yun lang naman yung intention ko. Kaya nga minsan pag may pag may mga tao na kinokontra yung gusto kong mangyari, sobrang nakakasad. Pero and, andito yung tao na mga gusto, kayang-kayang tumalon with with me. So sobrang akong thankful and that's why I also give back to these people. Kaya lahat ng support na nare-receive ko online hindi ko nga, alam ko bakit deserve ko. Hindi ko alam kung deserve ko or... Pero whenever I, whenever I go, they go. Kaya, sobrang thank you. And this is my, this is my pledge na sabi ko, Lord, tulungan mo ako so that I can help more people. <laughs> ano ba to? Webinar to, Walter, nakakainis. Kasi alam mo yung guys, noong 2020, sobrang depressed na depressed ako. <clears throat> As in, walang-wala, adobo ko na manok ng ulam ko. Isang buong manok, pitong araw ko yun, kakainin. Tapos yung panghuli, piprito ko pa. Para lang maiba yung lasa. Tapos nung nakita ko, nakapag seven figure ako in less than one month. Sobrang happy. Kaya sabi ko, dapat walang malungkot na freelancers. Kasi I know how it felt. I've been there. <coughs> pwede, ma- pwede sumalo. Parang ayoko na mag- mag-open ng kahit. Basta importante yung branding kasi once you build a reputation and a culture and a community, people are become becoming your followers. Wherever you go, they go. Kahit saan ka pumunta, nandun yung support nila. Ayun. And yung surprise ko, sabi ko kanina, To those who stayed at the end of this webinar, I'll be giving you my eight content pillars na ginagamit ko sa ano sa freelancing ko para makascore ako ng client nung sa copywriting and social media writer space pa ako. So, yun, that's the end of my webinar. I, I'm not sure if I can can take the the, the the opening ng card kasi gusto ko mag-promote pero kung may questions kayo, question na lang. Hindi ko na ipepresent. Ayan. Siguro, sanda na lang kayo ng link ni Coach Darwin kasi medyo ano ba? Hindi <laughs> ko alam kung paano. Or I'll take Z or my team is here to to discuss. <sighs> Ayun. Uh, paano ba to <laughs> Hindi ko alam. Hindi ko Sige, alam, bro. Coach. Pero hindi ko alam. kaya mag-pitch. <laughs> De, ayan. Uh, guys, so, ayan, you've heard Coach Walter's story. So, bakit ko siya, ano? Kasi, um, for those, paano ba? Sige, ganito. For, uh, originally, I, I invited only the top dog alphas inside this this webinar. So kagabi, nagsend ako ng email and ang uh, in-include ko lang ron yung mentorship, yung mentis ko lang talaga. Yung mentis ko lang. Uh, but then I I realized this afternoon na siguro mga 3 p.m. ko yata yung sinin, hindi ko matandaan. Or past 3 p.m. na. Basta or just hours before this this webinar. I I decided to send an invitation to everyone in my network sa email list ko sa labas ng sa, sa Facebook sa Facebook group ko. Ayun. So 
hindi siya ano, hindi na siya exclusive sa students ko kasi yung students ko sa sa top dog it's around 400 plus lang eh, 400 plus lang. So sabi ko, um if you're inside the top dog copywriter, uh alam nyo na hindi ako nag invite ng other experts inside the group. Actually naka-live to sa ano, naka-live to sa private group ko. Um, hindi hindi ako nagano, hindi ako nag invite ng experts sa group kasi um paano ba? Uh, hindi hindi sa wala akong tiwala sa kanila or something, but ano kasi uh, yung values, I'm not sure I'm not sure if aligned kami nung i-invite kong expert or hindi. So I I am very careful with who I invite inside. Kaya wala pa akong na-invite technically. So Coach Walter is the first um expert or coach na in-invite ko mag-talk sa loob ng Top Dog Copywriter Alpha. So the reason is um nabanggit niya naman kanina uh, he's my student sa batch to ko last year last year lang kasi ako nagsimula rin ng top dog copywriter so nakita ko yung ano niya nakita ko yung determination niya to succeed in copywriting nakita ko yung determination niya to succeed in freelancing when when uh, he decided to finally quit being a financial advisor so yun nagtransition siya into freelance copywriting and then nagtransition siya sa branding. And until now there are ano, mga there are struggles that Walter is facing right now and uh nawiwitness ko pa rin siya. Nawiwitness ko pa rin siya. Nawiwitness ko siya last year hanggang ngayon nawiwitness ko pa rin siya. But the transformation Walter had uh from that first time that I met him massive. Massive. Yung yung kinukuwento niya kanina legit 'yon. Kasi um he's also my business partner. Ganun ka kalaki yung tiwala ko sa, sa kanya. He's also my business partner in in one of our ventures, uh, the six figure ecom. Uh, lima kaming mentors doon. So branding siya, copywriting ako. Uh and legit yung ano, legit yung yung pangit na apartment, legit yung adobo na paulit-ulit, etc. Kasi lagi niya yung nababanggit Uh, we we we've always had meetings until 2 a.m. ganyan and pagpatak ng 1 a.m. onwards or 12 a.m. ba yun, parang buhay na yung pinag-uusapan namin nag-iiyakan na sila ah uh, ano pa ba so yun um i i was ano i was able to relate to Walter's story sobra kasi nung ano nung na, alam rin ni Walter te nung early stages ko nang nagtatrabaho ko sa corporate naman na to sa freelancer uh, very similar yung kinakain ko Angel's Burger na buy one take one pork and beans plus ano pork and beans plus uh, isang rice sa mini stop hindi na ako nagluluto ng rice sa bahay kasi sayang yung gas na uh, sayang yung oras and bahaw na siya pagdating sa office. So, bibili na lang ako ng 10 peso rice sa mini stock. So, total nun, ang lunch ko is around 24 pesos lang. I'm an engineer, by the way. I graduated as a cum laude. And I've made <coughs> financial mistakes uh, before. Kaya nangyari yun, yung mga yun. So, yeah. Uh, kaya yung sinasabi niya na ganun lang yung kinakain niya, etc. Actually, mas masarap pa nga yung kinakain mo, bro, kaysa yung kinakain ko before. And legit siyang pagkain. And unlike yung sa akin, it's, ano, it's, um, tawag dito, it's basically junk, eh. <laughs> so, yeah. Uh, Tumaga yung, yung, yung drive ni Walter to, to really succeed, yung drive ni Walter to to really change people's lives kasi ganito no um it's really hard may may iba't ibang stages kasi na, sa sa buhay mo as, as someone who is ano uh who is living a normal life yung yung may pangarap sa buhay no for example ano the first stage is survival you you strive to survive 
you work to survive. You work to eat. Ganon. You work para makapagtrabaho ka ulit the next day. Para may makain ka. Yun yung, yung normal na sinasabi sa networking. Um, and then, after that, syempre magkakaroon ka naman ng ano, ng mapopromote ka, tatasing swell mo or something. Makakahanap ka ng first breakthrough mo. Ang susunod naman doon is the chasing for success. Nakalimutan ko yung exact na tawag, pero you, you try to chase success naman. Hindi mo kasi ano eh, hindi mo kasi machi-chase yung success if you're in survival mode. Okay? So, yun. Uh, you chase success. And then after that, you make an impact. You strive or you you aspire to make an impact in people's lives. So, in just a span of one year, with Coach Walter's story, he went from a surviving freelancer or actually financial advisor yon, to a coach who is already changing the branding game in, in the Philippines today. He's already changing impact not only in his students' lives but also in uh, his clients' customers' lives. Ang 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 layo ng tinahin no pero ganun kasi yun eh. I, I, hindi lang yung 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 clients niya yung binabago niya hindi lang yung brands ng clients niya yung binabago niya but also the the ano the customers of of his clients bakit kasi kasi if hindi okay yung branding mo if hindi okay yung marketing mo pero sobrang ganda pala ng offer mo, ng product mo. Tapos hindi siya binibili ng tao. Sayang naman. Sayang naman. So that's how Walter is making an impact. Sa Ripple. Right now. Sorry, medyo na palalim, but that's the reality kasi of, of his story. His story ganina na nayak-iyak pa siya. There's a deeper meaning in that. And that's it. That's it. From survival mode to changing lives to making an impact. So success ya yeah, uh, continuous ano naman yun eh. Umbaga, continuous ano siya. Um, pursuit. Kasi success is subjective. Your definition of success grows as you as you achieve one milestone after another. So, yeah. Um, I'm guessing that, or I'm confident that he's going to be more successful in the coming years if he was able to make that much, not in terms of, ano lang, of money or something, but if he was able to accomplish pala, yun, accomplish that much within one year, how much more can he accomplish in five years? In ten years? So, ano bang, bang gusto ko sabihin? Ang gusto ko lang sabihin is, Walter is someone who, Walter is someone whom you want to, ano, to uh, grow with. Parang ganun. Kung may sasabayan kang mag-grow, I would choose Walter to be one of them. Ganon. San ka didikit? Dun sa sure na magiging successful or dun sa tama lang? Or worse, wala kang sasabayan, di ba? So, that's why kaming dalawa Dikitan din kami. Dikitan din kami. Kasi, uh, ako, I, I truly believe in Walter's potential. Pero hindi pa ba na-release yung potential? Actually, hindi pa. Marami pang ibubuga. Marami pang ibubuga. Sabi ko nga sa inyo, he's just starting. Nagsisimula pa lang siya. So, yun yung ginagawa namin. Dikitan din kami. 
Kaya madalas madalas nyo rin kami makita, magkasama, especially sa, sa SFE. Ganyan. Tapos nag-uusap rin kami sa background, nag, nag-share ng tips, nag-exchange ng ideas. Kasi we want to grow with with each other. Kasi uh, we are already successful in our own areas. And uh, sabi ko nga, gusto mong dumikit sa taong nagsastrive to be successful. So yun, um, sabi ni Walter, hindi siya makapag-pitch. I'm going to pitch for him. Hindi ako magaling mag-pitch actually kasi I'm a copywriter. I mean, in, I'm an introvert. I don't really like speaking in public. <laughs> Kaya ako wala masyadong webinars eh. Darin, ba't wala akong webinar? Daming daming coach dyan, lagi may webinar. Ikaw wala. Puro emails ka lang. Ganun eh. I'm an introvert kasi. Pero, well, binabago na rin kahit pa paano. I'm, I'm uh, putting myself out there na mas, mas madalas kahit pa paano. But yeah, uh, the pitch is Walter is going to, ano, um, actually, in-open niya na, sorry. He's opened his uh, school of strategists, branding strategists, uh, called SOS, and he's going to make you fly. <laughs> Ang corny, no? Pero, yeah, um, paano ba? If he was able to do that with non-students, what more can he do once you finally become his mentee? Everything he discussed earlier, you'll find more of that inside his program. And hanggang July 7 na lang, if I'm not mistaken, open yung enrollment. So walang salesy, ano? Walang salesy messages or something. Walang... Walang kung ano. Um, if you saw Walter's potential kanina, if you saw that you're, you need Walter's wisdom, if you need Walter's guidance, I suggest enroll, I suggest enrolling in his, in his program. Uh, before I give the mic to, back to, back to Walter, mukhang okay na siya, tumahan na. <laughs> um, I'm going to ano, I'm going to promote din naman yung affiliate link ko. So just to be transparent with you guys, um if you sign up using the link that I'm going to paste on the chat box maya-maya, um I will receive commissions pero wala naman siyang ano sa inyo. Wala naman siyang additional charge. Even if you don't use my uh, my affiliate link same lang rin yung babayaran mo. However, however, if you use my affiliate link, I will give you 10k plus worth of bonuses. Bonuses sa hindi cash. <laughs> Grabe baka baka manghingi kayo ng refund sa akin or something. Hindi. Uh, 10k worth of bonuses. Hindi siya yung bonuses na ibibigay ko, it's not ano, it's not it's it's value is real world. Meaning, 10K talaga yung real-world value niya. Hindi siya parang pinaakyat na ano, yung normal na nakikita niyong bonuses na pinaakyat yung value para magmukhang malaki. Uh, if ganon, if ganon natin ipapresyo, siguro around 500,000 yung, ano, yung bonuses ko. Kasi the bonuses that I will give you um, enabled me to generate 202,000 in sales last April and then another 303 nakalimutan ko hindi hindi 303 basta 300 plus thousand in pesos in sales last March uh, sorry May hindi June sorry June uh, 2020 and hanggang ngayon yun pa rin yung ginagamit ko pa ulit-ulit for me to earn at least 60 figure month after month so, actually, yung, yung worth ng bonuses ko, hindi lang siya 500,000. Hindi siya 250, 250. Dalawa kasi yun eh, yung bonuses ko. Pero, yun, available lang siya for 5K each. Kaya siya 10K plus na bonuses. 
again, kung kukumpitin mo yung talagang value niya na kaya niyang ibigay sa'yo, hindi lang 10K. And I'm planning to add more dun sa bonuses ko. If you sign up sa ano ko, makukuha mo siya for free, no added cost, if you uh, sign up using my affiliate link. So, ipapaste ko na siya, pero ibibigay ko na yung mic kay Coach Walter. Ayan. Ayan, nakapag water na ako. Kumalma na. So, yo, thank you, Coach, sa, ano, sa pagsalo. While isesend ni Coach Darwin yung link niya, may questions ba kayo? Ayan, I guess na-collect ni Ben. Si yes, Ben pala yes, is part ng ano namin, ng team. Yes, bro. Ayan. Hello, Sorry. guys. Good morning. Ayan. So, bro, upon yung discussion mo uh, earlier kanina, there are questions na nag-gather natin from from uh, from our audiences na nakikinig. No? And uh, number one question is coming from Shana. No? And uh, her question is, uh, do clients need to be convinced na need nila ng solid branding or find clients na lang na they do know that they need solid branding? I I would I would rather go with the latter kasi that's an easy pitch. 'Di ba? Mm-hmm. That's an easy pitch eh. Pero um pwede mo naman i-try i-convince kung marunong kung yun nga kung naintindihan mo talaga yung mundo ng branding, it's easier for you to pitch your service during discovery calls. And there are also business owners do not uh, see its importance because they want just numbers. But most of the time na kinakausap ko, tinatanong ko agad-agad kung ano yung pagkaintindi nila sa branding. Pag hindi nila naintindihan yon at ayaw nila at gusto nila talaga about numbers, hindi ko na siya dinidc. Nire-refer ko siya sa marketer. Or binibigay ko nga sa iba. Yun nga, binibigyan ko ng client yung iba. So pag may lumalapit. And... and Most of the time, when you launch your, lalo pag startup, they wouldn't even see its importance. Yun naman talaga. But in my experience kasi, may mga startup business owners talaga na they want to start with the foundation first because of the proper education with branding. So, nako-close pa rin yung deal. Depende talaga siya sa level of education ng client. Regardless, regardless kung Uh, open siya makinig sa'yo. Kasi kung hindi, mahirap din naman i-convince ang taong hindi open-minded. ba? Diba? So kung willing siya matuto, willing siya makinig, makita niya yung importance, then mas madali siya i-closed. Yeah. Alright. Sige. Parang ano no bro, yung uh, if, if I find this client na maganda yung collaboration namin all throughout the 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 contract yung parang ganyan so goods ka doon so parang yun yung gusto mong sabihin for the question tama ba mm all right okay thank you thank you Shana and the next question uh, coming from Sylvia ayan coach Walter is brand uh, branding is integrity is that right daw ba not necessarily kasi integrity is one of the reputations that you can give to your customers So, it, hindi lang siya integrity. Mm-mm. You okay. can also employ different values. And if you think na yun yung sinasabi nila about your brand na, uy, sobrang honest yan, sobrang transparent nila, sobrang ganda ng customer service, napaka-approachable, then you're doing it right. Kung yun yung gusto mong iparating sa nila. So, it's more of, yun nga, sabi ko, collective collective insights, comments, reactions, uh, feedbacks, collective perceptions, observations regarding your brand. Yun yung brand mo na, bin, na buo. So it's in the minds of the audience. Hindi lang integrity. Yun. All right. All right. Okay. Thank you. Ayan. Next question coming from Gerald naman, bro. Sabi niya, ano po role ng color sa brand experience? Ang role ng color, marami, malaki. Kasi color gives um, color gives psychology. Like for example, 
why it can give purity. And if your values really mean about uh, ano ba, cleanliness, for example, or care, caring, caring values, caring personality, then the color white can give justice to that kind of behavior. So yun yung role ng color. It's a matching of... Pero don't start with the color. Again, start with what kind of behavior are you going to... Ano, alam mo yun, uh, introduce or give to your audience. So yun yung nangyay. Ang mistake lang kasi ng iba... Diba, select color, select logo. Kala nila branding yun. But in fact, there is a science and framework how to choose your color talaga. Minsan din kami, pinapacheck pa namin sa customers nung, nung brand kung tatanggapin ba nila. Kung baga, sinasurvey namin na if we're going to change the color, what will be the impact to the customer? Tatanggapin ba? Ah... Uh, kung ano yung re- reputation that we built before during rebrand bago mag rebrand same din ba or walang masyadong change so kung ang direction is big change then okay lang pero kung hindi then might as well konti lang yung babaguhin so may mga ganong portion kami na ginagawa and very important din ang color kasi nagkakaroon din ng imagery and recall hindi lang sa copy, hindi lang sa tagline, hindi lang sa ko ano na feel, di ba? Matat- yun nga yung sabi ko, para sumaya naman tayo kasi parang malungkot kanina. Matatanggap nyo ba si Jollibee na naka-violet? <laughs> Imagine nyo si Jollibee yung mascot, sumasayaw sa daan, sumasayaw sa kids party, violet, hindi pula. Diba, dinosaur na bubuyog. Ano to, joke. So, <laughs> yung yung ano, yun yung nag nagkaroon kasi ng consistency sa color natin. Yun nga sabi ko sa that sa mga mentees ko before, the importance of color. I, I'm not saying that branding is not about logo and design. Doesn't mean that yung color is not important. Pag may color kayo, own it. Own it like kayo lang pwedeng gumamit. Pansinin niyo ako. Sa lahat ng talks ko online, I wear orange. Lahat orange. Naka-orange lang ako. Why? Kasi ginibigyan ko ng justice yung orange na akin lang to. Walang ibang gumamit. Pag may nakita kayong orange, ako yung maaalala nyo. Yun yung gusto kong iparating sa audience. That I have that kind of reputation that when you see an orange, you would remember me. And when you remember me, I can help you with your brand. Ganon. Ganon yung perception. Ganon yung lagi kong minimension. At lagi, lagi ko siyang suot. Actually, nakaano ko, 30-day orange yan. <laughs> may color, may may v-neck, may, sir, ang tawag doon? Yung nang bilog, same, same, ano, same sila ng tatak. Tapos plain orange lang. Lahat yon orange. Yun. Yun. Alright, sige. Thank you, bro. And, um, uh... Ito pa, isang question coming from Sylvia din. No? Sabi dito, Coach, what figure or range did you start from first client as newbie then? Mm. Did you have a uh, lean branding system for startup and community enterprise? Um, meron ako sa... Sagutin ko yung first, no? First branding gig or first freelancing gig. Magkaiba kasi yun eh. Kasi di ba nag-start ako sa SMM and copywriting. Yung first copywriting ko, nare-report ko ng, ewan ko, ba't ko na-report? Nahiya nga ako eh. Report ko yun kay coach. So, search nyo lang dyan kung na-email subscriber na kayo before. First is 95,000. Alam nyo kung bakit 95? Dapat ano yon 100K. So, nahiya talaga ako mag-charge ng six figure. So, sabi ko, sige, 95 ko na lang. Na-close naman yung deal. That was my very first copywriting gig from my top dog journey. Ayan. O, oh, di ba dalawa yung promote? Top dog siya. <laughs> ano, school of strategies. But, kidding aside, uh, after noon, I met the parents of Josh na, na close ko yun, yun, 65,000. Until nagtuloy-tuloy na, I write emails for startup 10 emails, tig 20K. Sunod-sunod na yun, na parang sabi ko, ayos to ah, isang buwan, ay, Uh, sampung emails, 20,000 sa 
tapos gagawin ko lang walong oras. Buhay na ako. Buhay na ako noon. So simple lang tal- simple lang ako nagkapera na okay na ako kasi parang dalampasan ko na yung survival, sustainability na yung next ko. So if ito yung gusto ko at eh kaso may condo ako na binabayaran. So I need to get more clients pa. And then I discovered na yung branding na. So my first branding gig was free. Dalawang free. <laughs> Dalawa yun, di ba? Dalawang free at isa pang personal brand na free. I also conduct consultation for free. Doon talaga ako nag... nag imagine nagko-consult ako, hindi ko pa alam yung branding. Gusto ko lang ma-apply kung maintindihan nila yung pinagsasabi ko. So even Ben, yung nagsasalita, nagpa-consult yan sa akin. Try mo nga branding ko. Sige, try natin. Consult. Kasi magla-launch siya ng podcast niya. So ano ba yung message na dapat niyang i-ano, i-pull out, i-put into to your to her to his listeners ganun so dun y- yun yung journey ko until i started charging a 60,000 85,000 250 to 200 250 tig tatlong buwan tatlong buwan ang pinaka malaki ko is 395,000 na hanggang ngayon pending pa rin <laughs> then i also had a collab with coach Darwin nagpi-pitch kami ng tig 1.6 million pitch lang <laughs> So far, wala pa kami na close together. So, we decided to separate ways. <laughs> Joke lang. <laughs> wala kami na close together talaga. Sobra. So, he's doing good naman. Ako doing good. Pero, yun yung, ano, uh, yun, currently, we're, we submitted yun, 12 million proposal. Kasama ko si Coach Don. Branding. Yun yung company na magkakandak ako ng Uh, brand workshop sa empleyado nila. So, yung part, may 5 million din kami, yan. So, sa, magkasama kami sa isang project, branding plus marketing. So, noon pa man, hindi pa, noon pa man, brand kitting na talaga yung process namin. Pinagsama-sama yung branding tsaka marketing. Kaya, kaya yun yung framework din na gusto kong maano, matutunan ng mga students. And may, may low ticket kami pwede, kasi pwede mo siyang i-cherry pick kung ano yung portion and faces yung i-include mo. Pero I have the, uh, the non- non-negotiable, like the, the first phase, hindi pwedeng wala, and the second phase. The rest, kung first and second phase, diretso mo na sa design after. Okay na yun. And, but, but we have a six phases and six to seven phases kasi sa branding guide namin. So, kung gusto mo ng short tent version and low medyo mababa or startups phase 1 phase 2 phase 1 is the brand foundation phase 2 is the positioning and then phase 3 is the design yun yung branding process yun yung pwede mong i-offer na medyo hindi din kanon ka premium pero if you want to really a, an end to end yun 6 to 7 phases siya which i already showed kanina sa sa ano sa screen sa webinar yun yeah yung uh, while the second question bro is uh, did you have lean branding system for startup and community enterprise uh, sa startups yun nga bro yung sabi ko na you can cherry pick the the phase one phase two and the design part mm-hmm. pwede yun sa startups or you can even get the phase two and the design yeah. startups siya kasi kailangan natin ma-differentiate bago siya mag-launch and then kailangan din natin maayos yung product mock-ups niya, yung design. So, yun yung yun yung pwede niyang gawin. Sa enterprise, hindi ko pa na-try mag-enterprise kasi ang first proposal namin sa industrial at enterprise is 12 million na hindi pa hindi namin alam kung matutuloy pa pero naharang ng asawa so alam niyo na mga asawa, the joke lang. <laughs> <laughs> okay. <A> joke lang. <laughs> asma asma. <laughs> uh, as asma. As asma husband asma wife. All right, thank bro. Next question natin is eto galing din kay Pat- Patricia Tulawi. Sabi niya is what assurance do you give to your clients Sir Walter? Um, yan yung lagi nating bine-mention kasi pag revenue line and marketing, may mga guarantee ganyan, wala wala akong guarantee na ibibigay. Ang guarantee na ibibigay ko is yung output. Tapos, uh, 
may framework akong binibagay eh. Like for example, consultation, after ng strat- after namin ma-draft yung strategy niya, consultation after. Ganon ko siya kasi solid nga yung framework, di ba? May roadmap ka, pero hindi naman kaya execute ng client. So, andun pa rin ako para mag-guide. So, pag may-hire siya na website designer, copywriter, or uh, social media manager, or landing page designer, andun ako to make sure that the the brand is still cohesive, consistent, and and drives away confusion. Mm-hmm. So, yun yung siguro yung guarantee, not monetary. Wala akong binibigay na monetary kasi hindi po ako solid marketer. Branding ako. Though may binibigay ako na conversion kasi nga long-term effect siya. Yun yung sinasabi ko. Tapos case studies na lang na mas madali kasi magbenta kung solid yung brand. Which is totoo. Ito pa, paano ka mag-advertise or mag-FB ads kung wala kang solid na brand at solid na targeting? Diba? Kasi pag nag-ads ka, Facebook, so paano pag nag-visit sila ng profile ng account mo, ng page mo, wala naman silang makitang masaya, maganda. ba? Diba? So walang rin, wala, wala rin mag-click, walang mag-convert. So mas maganda na you put your brand, you for me, parang gawin mo munang optimize yung, yung digital platforms nyo bago mo siya i-add advertising. Ang, ang iba kasi parang, oh, panagra ng ads, so money agad. Hindi eh. Di ba? May confusion pa rin kasi hindi solid ang brand. And if there's a confusion, anong kasunod? It kills. Yun. <laughs> <laughs> okay, alright. Okay. Next question, bro. This is with regards sa, ano, dun sa program, no? Ang question, wait for a while na wala. Uh, the, the question it was coming from uh, Uni. Is that right? No? Uni or Uni. Anyway, in the course, structured na ba coach yung branding framework or is it still fluid or adjustable? Pwede mo siya i-adjust, lalo na yung other phases. Pero as recommendable, like what we've used from our clients and my mentee's client, yun na yun. Pwede mo siya adjust yun lang naman. Pero non-negotiable ko talaga ang positioning. Never. Kasi you have to understand your customer deeper. Deeper than you can ever imagine. Imagine you guys, ang customer sampling ko, abot kami ng 200. Maghanap kami ng commonality based on the demographics na ibibigay sa amin ni client. Kailangan ma-uncover talaga namin yung exact pains, exact fears, exact desires. Diba copywriter yarn? <laughs> ganon, ganon na ganon yung ano namin. Kasi once ma-identify namin yung behavior ng customer namin, mas madali sa amin na brand, o mas madali sa amin na brand specialist to match that kind of behavior. Diba? Parang friends kasi yan eh. Sa magkakaibigan, pag may problema ka, hindi mo naman lalapitan lahat eh. Isa lang yung una mong lalapitan. Bakit? Kasi alam mo na yung friend mo na yung makakatulong siya sa problema mo. Ganon din ang ano brand branding process. May problema yung customer, dapat si customer yung lalapit sa'yo. Kasi alam niya na yung company mo yung makakatulong sa problema niya. Ganon. Yun. <laughs> Tapos meron pa tayong friend na, eh, hindi naman ako yan, eh, ano, aawayan lang ako yan. Or sasabihan ng kung ano-ano. Ito kasi mas understanding mas approachable, mas welcoming. Di ba may mga ganong brand na showing care? Like for example, mga UNICEF. Di ba? Imagine UNICEF mag kukoda koda about, ano, about terrorism. Di ba? Di, di naman. They, they show care, love. Like for example, si, si Nike, very courageous and inspirational. Pero mga success stories ng mga athletes. Ganon yung personality nila. So, most of the customers as well, they want to embody that champion spirit. So, ganon ang process. I-identify mo si customer, tapos si, match mo si, ano, si behavior ng brand. Yeah. Alright, sige. Huwag lang daw pera pagkakaibigan. <laughs> anyway. <Boom. laughs> okay, sige. For the next question, bro, this is coming from a divine, ayan. Uh, this is regarding again sa program. Uh, sorry, before that, kay Sylvia muna tayo. Sabi niya, do you also consider income sharing agreement for tuition subsidy? 
uh, in medyo malalim yung ano oh, no. Oh. But from the way I understand it, like profit sharing or commission ganyan, hindi bayad na lahat tapos consultation after. Doon ako magpapapay. Yan. Okay, sige. Bro. Pero if ano medyo conflict yung answer ni Walter Don Silvia. Ano, medyo expand pa natin yung ano, yung yung question baka iba lang yung interpretation. Anyway, for Divine, ayan sabi niya uh, with regards sa School of Strategies, uh, uh, she has read the sales page already and sabi niya is after ba ng 30 days, meron din bang community na we can still connect or other mentors and friends po in the program? Yeah, definitely. If nabasa niyo po siya, meron doon po mga houses. Diba? Masusort kayo sa house, sa iba't ibang house. Uh, I-flash ko. Wait lang. Yeah. Uh, saan na yun? Sorry. Hindi ko makita. Houses. Aday, ayan, ayan. Wala, bakit hindi ko makita? Sige, share ko na lang ito. So, ito yung... St- ano, ito yung mga houses. By the way, itong pangalan ng mga houses na to is meron ditong Windarium. Alam niyo kung bakit kanino 'yon nakapangalan? Wala, hulaan niyo lang kung kanino. Basta may House Windarium, House Catarvis, House Trixie Peaks. 'Yun yung magiging accountability group niyo once you join at once pag active kayo kasi pag hindi kayo active hindi namin kayo entertain so kasi free ano siya free group and we will only enter- entertain kung sino yung mga seryoso so magpatulong pag hindi doon kayo sa common group yan common room kumbaga this is a private group sa private group natin parang ganun so dalawang group isa sa common isa sa mga sa, isa sa house so kung gusto niyo doon yan join kayo dito kung magsaseryoso kayo. Tapos, may, may mga brand uh, workshops, may mga activities, challenges. Pag hindi kayo nagpa-participate, ikikik po sila. Papunta ulit sa common room, which is yung community ng mga students pa rin. Ganun yeah. siya. And we also have, ano yan, may merch kami, purchase kayo. <laughs> Ayan. Ayan. Ito yung, yan, Trixie Peaks. Ayan. Yan. Windarium kasi Fox, wala lang. <laughs> Fox yung ano. Oo, kay Coach Darwin ko yan pinangalan, yung house na yan. Etong house na to. Ito kay, kay Kat, ito kay Marielle, ito kay Coach Trixie. So silang apat yung business partners ko. Yun. Ayan. So, yeah. To answer the question, uh, meron. Meron tayong community and... Uh, Uh, mentors after nung 30 days uh, uh, yung sinasabi ni Divine earlier. Alright, so next question bro is eto, uh, how hands-on are you in the program? Sabi hands ni on. Oh my God. <laughs> Oo. Hirap L- ng degree, di ba? Yung how hands-on you are. Oo. Tingnan na lang natin. Ganun ba yung tamang sagot? <laughs> Parang... <laughs> Pero we will be um, we will be collaborating with other than me uh, I also contacted different experts in the field kasi I believe na hindi lang ako yung pwede ano pwedeng maging expert dito so I'll be inviting yan si coach Darwin pwede ko siyang invite how to craft a brand story and yun yung plano namin and in terms of hands on We uh ginasusan ko to eh. <laughs> diba? I hired people, six people, uh FB ads, community manager, uh creative directors, copywriters, uh web web uh, tech support namin. So ginastosan ko siya. It's not a It's not really a course na course lang. Kumbaga, we put our soul and effort and our uh, A plus game para lang maging successful siya. And if you're asking how hands-on are you or ako, uh, I don't have the 
proof na pwede ipakita yung journey ko, but you can ask the SFE students kung paano ko sila kausapin. Or, yeah, like, like say, na Coach Fanny, sina Coach Fanny, nandiyan sila. And, hindi ko kasi pwede, ma- hindi ko ma-measure how hands-on eh. Pero, yung commitment ko is there will be a weekly, twice a month workshop and Q&A so that, andun pa rin ako kung kailangan nyo ko. Ayan. And, I'll be visible then And, yun nga. Uh, there will be a lot of ano pa talaga a lot of plans inside the SOS and i wa- i hope na nandun kayo doon okay yeah um yung kaninang tinatanong ni ano ni Sylvia kanina bro doon sa uh what call this one yung, yung sa sharing, subsidy income sharing yeah it, it is with regards daw sa school of strategies enrollment Paano income sharing? Agree. Halimbawa, Oo. <laughs> ah, ako mangukuha ng income nila? Siguro that's Uh-oh. what. Parang yeah. yun siguro. Ah, hindi. Yeah, yeah. Hindi, siguro hala. Yun. Hala, bad yun. <laughs> agreement daw eh. <laughs> Parang I, ano lang yun, bro. Uh, hindi, kasi may mga gumagawa nun. Na ah, okay. tawag dito. Parang instead of paying something, uh, parang imementor kita. Uh, pero in exchange yung first few incomes mo until ma-reach itong certain cap ah, okay. akin yun tapos everything else ayun na yun pero ang normal kasi na setup nun ayun nagkaroon ng business idea si, si Walter um, ang normal setup nun is around 250k pataas may ano ceiling din yeah okay saka hindi siya hindi siya mura hindi siya mura so yun sa amin naman, coach, wala. Kasi yeah. if ever I get client, tapos bibigay ko sa'yo, doon ako magkakaroon ng referral fee. Tapos bibigay ko sa'yo. Ikaw na gagawa. Like, for example, na-close natin isang million. Since leads ko siya, referral fee ko is 20 to 30%. 30%. Akin yung 300K. Sa'yo yung 700K. Ikaw na gagawa lahat. Ganun yung process ng freelancing and other agencies. So yun, yun yun siguro yun pag kliyente ko pero na wala kaming ganun. Yeah. So next question, uh, I'll replace it lang no Ralph no. Uh, kasi mag-enroll daw siya sa SFE mentorship. So he's asking what is the difference between the SFE mentorship program and the SOS uh, branding course na ino-offer mo? Branding lang kasi kami dun eh. Ang, ang SF, tsaka ang SFE kasi, focus siya sa e-com, mga e preneurs Kami ang focus talaga na mga freelancers. Kung baga, pag natutunan mo yung skill, i-offer mo siya sa iba, sa mga brand owners. Kami sa SFE, ang focus namin is matuto yung mga e preneurs paano magnegosyo at bumenta. Ganon, ganon kami. So, yun yung main difference niya. Now, the main dif- hindi lang difference, pero kasi I invited the SFE students to be to be the BCS clients of the SOS students. So, ibig sabihin, once you enroll, may client na nakaabang sa nila. So, you, would, you can apply agad-agad yung lessons na maaaral nyo. And may client na kayo. BCS agad yon So they can give you a result. I, they, you can give result to your to these brand owners and testimonials. And may mapapakita na kayo, kayong experience when you want to offer the, the branding gig to, to your prospects. ba diba? Kasi ang common problem ngayon ng mga freelancers, hinahanapan ng portfolio. Tama. So, paano ka maghahanap ng portfolio kung wala kang kliyente? So, kami sa SOS, bibigyan namin kayo ng portfolio. Kaya sabi ko, seryoso dapat yung magpunta kasi nakakahiya dun sa brand owner kung iiwan nyo sa ere. Hambawa, lunch nila is, target nila is September, tapos hindi nyo naman gagawin. 
So nakakaya sa kanila din. Mga business owners pa naman mga yun. Yun. Alright, yeah. So, this question is coming from KJ. Tama ba ako? Yeah, KJ. Do brand strategies consider the value ladder ng sales process? Kasi, it's easier to upsell kung hindi, wait, bago tayo pumunta sa value ladder, puntahan natin yung customer value. Okay? So, or lifetime customer value. Or even the pricing. For example, yung may tatak at walang tatak, magkaiba yung presyo nun. Mas mahal yung may tatak. Now, when it comes to value ladder, pag gusto mong pumunta sa pinakatuktok, yung ma-upsell ma- ma- mo talaga siya, then definitely part siya ng sales process mo. And in fact, bra- branding is a marketing practice. Marketing is part of the value ladder offer mo. ba? Diba? At nagkakaroon ka na mas malaking value kung branded ang experience na mabibigay ng isang brand sa customer. So, ganun yung take nun. Imagine working with uh, an experienced and expert and tingin ng tao is parang kaya niya talaga gawin yung bagay na to versus dun sa newbie and non-experience. Ganon. Ganon yung take ko dun sa question. Yun. So, yeah. Uh, bro, that's that's the ano, the last question na nakita ko. But if you have any questions, guys, and raise nyo lang eh, the comment. But, uh, yeah, bro. Ayan. So, sige, last na, wala na. Wrap up na tayo. Final question, wala na. Okay na. So, ayun. Ah, uh, Uh, I'm, I'm sorry, di ako nag-pitch or na-discuss kung ano, what's inside the group. Nanginig talaga ako. <laughs> and if you want to enroll, and uh, yun, wala namang pilitan, wala ding, ano, I want you to enroll because you are serious and aaralin kung ano yung pag-aaralan natin. at be active and participative kasi yun yung gusto namin at gusto ko tutukan lahat na mag-enroll makuha yung brain cells na meron ako at brain cells ng iba so it's a community of people who really wants to succeed in their freelancing career so ayan and and for all we know for all we know sobrang heavy din ng copywriting skill sa sa branding. Kaya nga hindi din ako nahihirapan. And when I require a uh, design, I also collab with designers. Sila na yung gagawa. So, good thing, good thing is doon sa sa SOS, maraming brand designers ang nag-enroll. So, you can always have a collaboration already inside. Yun naman yun. So, Again, uh, we want you to be there because you see the value, you understand what kung ano yung pag nyo. Kasi even though we score a lot of premium gigs from six to seven figure, hindi ko magagaranti na mangyari yun sa'yo kung wala din kayong ginagawa. So hindi siya yung parang enroll ka, tapos keep mo lang yung course, and it's unfair nasabihin mo na hindi mo naintindihan kung hindi mo lang man trinay intindihin. So, uh, gusto ko iwasan yung mga ganong student. And, as you can see, maybe you're older than me or I'm older than you. So, we have a space for for sa mga taong open-minded and willing matuto regardless of the age, race, ethnicity, di ba? hindi disregard natin kung ano yung ano yung edad natin and in fact we can always learn from each other from the new sa new springs to the old ones di ba so we can always and always have a environment where we can benefit both and learn from each other yun yung gusto naming culture na ma-build doon regardless of your age you are welcome 
And yun, gusto ko pag nag nandun kam, kayong lahat is ma-achieve talaga natin yung goal which is consistent ano, consistent and sustainable freelancing career for everyone. Yun. And since ano, since you ano nga, ito yung hindi pa na-send yung lead magnet guys kanina. Pa-send na lang dito sa chat para maano din nila, maklik nila at magamit din nila. Yan. Ito yung, sige, open ko. Ito yung ginagamit kong content pillar na so halimbawa, nag-close kami ng coffee. So pinapakita ko lang yung lead magnet. Lapitan ko yung mga coffee owners. Yan, yung mga content pillars that they can use in, in their social media. Yan. Ah, uh, For example, content about the purpose. Lagi akong ganun, yung may purpose talaga na content. Hindi lang yung parang, I don't know, maybe sobra akong attached sa may mga taong other than selling or other beyond money, what do you want to do? What do you want to achieve? Ano yung gusto mo mangyari? Fan ako ng mga ganong tao. So, kaya lagi ako may purpose content. And the other brands are already using that. And yan, brand story, kwento ng iba, kwento ng mo, kwento ng empleyado, kwento ng lahat na nakaka-resonate sa story and sa values ng brand. Personalize your brand, hindi puro add to cart dyan, tsaka Lazada items. So personalize, ibig sabihin may tao, lifestyle, ganun. So ito yung pwedeng guidelines, social virality, engagement. Yan, mga katuwaan lang din, pero hindi naman ganun ka-jologs tingnan. And UGC, yung mga content ng ibang tao para ma-shout out din yung mga users. Ganyan kasi yung culture sa digital world. And consistent visual expression, hindi lang basta color, pero some elements. Partnership content, yan, influencers marketing, paano mag content dyan. So, ito yung mga pillars na dapat meron ng isang business. So, you can customize this one. And yan. So, ito kasi yung social media copywriter ang ginagawa ko noon. Tagagawa ng content sa mga pages. And yan. Book a call. Lagyan mo lang story dito or testimonial from your client. Then, may call to action na siya. So, customizable lead magnet for you. Ayan. So that's it for today and thank you for attending the webinar. I hope that uh, you learned something for today and talk to you soon again or somewhere in the PDC group. Nandun lang din ako. Minsan natatag ako dyan. And if you have questions with copywriting, I can still answer din naman. Hindi naman na-unlearn yung copywriting skill ko kasi offer ko pa rin is email copywriter sa marketing face. Pero main offer ko syempre branding. So yun lang po and have a good day. Enjoy your day and enjoy your dinner and enjoy the rest of the day and God bless everyone. Bye-bye.